Preparing the post-closing trial balance may not be the last step in the accounting cycle. Some entities elect to reverse certain end-of-period adjustments on the first day of the new period. Our topic for this presentation is reversing entry. It is the step number 10 in the accounting cycle. What is a reversing entry? When we say reversing entry, it is actually a journal entry that is exact opposite of a related adjusting entry. So when we say opposite, whatever you do in the adjusting entry, you simply do exactly the opposite of it. So if you debit it in the adjusting entry, you simply credit it in the reversing entry. Please take note that reversing entry are considered to be optional. Meaning, the company can make a policy of making reversing entries. Also, there are certain companies or there are companies that opt not to make reversing entry. That's why it is optional. When are we making adjusting entries? Adjusting entries are being made on the first day of the new accounting period. To give you an example, let us say December 31, 2019 is the end of 2019 accounting period and usually on December 31, 2019 you are making adjusting entries the company or the entity may elect to provide policy for making reversing entries and if reversing entries are being made on the first day of the new accounting period, the date that we are talking about is January 1 of 2020, which is the beginning of 2020 accounting period. And on this date, you are going to make reversing entry, which is again, considered to be optional. If the reversing entry is said to be optional, your next question is, why? Why do entity opt to make a policy for reversing entries? The basic reason why we reverse an entry is that it is considered to be a bookkeeping technique. When we say bookkeeping technique, when we say bookkeeping, we are actually maintaining records. And reversing entry is being made to simplify To simplify recording of regular transaction later on we will be able to understand why recording is being simplified when we make reversing entries are all adjusting entries qualified to be reversed the answer is no If no, what are the um, adjusting entries that 
may be reversed. As a general rule, the rule is you can make a reversing entry if the adjusting entry increased an asset or liability. Just take note, not all adjusting entries qualify to be reversed. Only those adjusting entry increasing your asset or your liability. What are these adjusting entries? First example of which is accrued revenue. Just a little recap. When we say accrued revenue, what does it mean? Revenue already earned but not collected and what is the adjusting entry adjusting entry which are usually being done at the end of the accounting period adjusting entry is to debit since it is not collected you debit a certain receivable account which is an example of asset since the revenue is already earned you credit a revenue account which is an income So, let's have a figure for that. Let us say 100 and credit 100. Your asset is being debited. Therefore, your asset had been increased. Stated her kanina, only adjusting entry that increase your asset or liability. So, in this case, it's very clear that during adjustment for accrued revenue, during adjustment for accrued revenue, your receivable, which is an example of asset, increases. Therefore, this kind of adjusting entry is qualified to be reversed. And how are you going to reverse this? On January 1 of 2020, you reverse it by simply doing the exact opposite of the entry you debit your revenue and you credit your receivable how much 100 the second entry that can be reversed is accrued expense so let's have again a recap of what is an accrued expense. It is an expense already incurred but not yet paid. So what will be your adjusting entry? Since it is already incurred, you recognize an expense. Let us say 100. Since it is not yet paid, you recognize a payable, which is a liability for a credit of 100. Again, as a general rule, adjusting entry that increase your asset or liability is qualified to be reversed in this case 
your liability is being credited therefore it increases so this is an example of adjusting entries that is qualified to be reversed and how are you going to reverse it on january 1 of 2020 which is the beginning of the next accounting period you just simply do the exact opposite you debit your liability for 100 and you credit your expense for 100 the third item that is qualified to be reversed is the adjusting entry for deferred revenue however not all deferred revenue or not all accounting for deferred revenue is to be reversed what does it mean again a little recap when we say deferred revenue is, you are postponing the recognition of revenue. Meaning, the revenue is not yet earned. And there is a possibility for collection already. It is not yet earned, but possible to be collected already. In our previous discussion, a deferred revenue can be accounted for using either the income or liability method only please take note that only adjusting entries for deferred revenue initially recorded as an income is qualified to be reversed what does it mean In our previous discussions, we make initial entry. Kailan nangyayari class yung initial entry? It is the time when the transaction happened. Like for example, when you collect advance payment from the customer. So when you make advance payment, or when your customer makes an advance payment to you on that instance you receive cash let us say 100 since you use the income method you initially record it as a revenue how much 100 let us assume that on the end of the accounting period where you make an adjusting entry thirty is already earned so what is your adjusting entry your adjusting entry is again since revenue is the one you use in your initial entry you just put it on the other side and the partner will be the deferred revenue which is an earned revenue in this case, if 30 is already earned, the question is how much is not yet earned? And obviously, that is 70. So in this case, your unearned revenue 
which is considered to be a liability, increases. Therefore, this kind of adjusting entry is qualified to be reverse. And how are you going to make a reversing entry? Again, the reversing entry will happen on January 1 of the new year or should we say the beginning of the new accounting period reversing entry will be again the exact opposite so you debit your unearned revenue for 70 and you credit your revenue for 70 this is the reversing entry In terms of reversing of adjusting entries for accrued expense, again, a little recap. When we say uh, sorry, um, we're not talking about accrued expense, what we are talking about is deferred expense. When we talk about deferred expense, this is commonly known as prepaid expense when we say prepaid expense expense not yet incurred already paid or there is a postponement of the recognition of expense Let's have a, uh, a little recap. If we have or if we are accounting for deferred expenses, you can use either the expense method or the asset method. And which of the two is qualified to be reversed? Only those used the expense method. Let's try to illustrate. Again, there is the initial entry. Initial entry, you receive or you pay in advance. Okay? Because this is something you already paid. So, what will be your initial entry? Your initial entry is to debit under the expense method. Your initial entry is to debit an expense, an expense account, let us say 100. And a credit to cash because you already paid it. On December 31, or the end of the accounting period, let us say 30 pesos is already incurred. Therefore, 70 is not yet incurred. Therefore, 70 is to be deferred. So, what will be your journal entry? Or what will be your adjusting entry? The adjusting entry will be to credit your expense and to debit your prepaid expense. Since 30 is already incurred and you are setting up a prepaid expense account, it will be for 70 pesos. And what will be your reversing entry? which is done on the beginning of the next accounting period. Again, it is exact opposite. Debit, expense, and credit, prepaid, expense. For how much? 70. So is it something that is qualified to be um, reverse? Let's check. Prepaid expense, 
is an example of asset which is being debited therefore increase so it qualifies okay therefore it qualifies to the rule that only adjusting entries that increases your asset or liabilities to be reversed so if you have questions with regards to the reversing entry you can post it in our um, class google classroom you can message me directly so that i can uh, explain it further